Trey style, repping the F.A.T. squad. Born on the west side of Chicago, spent like 10 years of my life there. Then I moved to the suburbs, so I'm like half and half. Half I whoop your ass, half I'm cool as hell, you know? But um, yeah, man, I started rapping at a young age. I don't even remember when, but I just remember my brother, you know, playing like rap music when I was young before I went to school. And I just started like making my own words up to him like every morning, so it became like a habit. And it kind of stuck with me. Um, didn't really take it serious until about like high school when I wanted to like actually be an artist, a hip hop artist. So, but that's why I'm at now, man. That's who Trace Dallas is. And that's the only rapper from Chicago. Yeah. I don't mean to say that I've achieved these things or that I've already reached perfection. But I press on to possess that perfection for which Christ Jesus first possessed me. Nah, I have not achieved it. But I focus on this one thing forgetting the past, looking forward to what lies ahead. I press on to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize, for God is calling us. Hey. Amen. One day I might like Chief Key, one day I might like want to listen to Common or whatever. So I'm honest, I, I like all the Chicago um, artists, man. Rocky Fresh is kept signing MMG. So it's some Chicago artists doing some big things, but you know, I don't think it's necessary because it was a spotlight put on Chicago. It's just that people was grinding and they were just starting to pay off. So dark days, you know, everything is going wrong. You all depressed and everything. You don't want to do nothing on the day or whatever. And then you got your bright nights, you know, you just. It's when you um, let it all go, have fun, perform, or whatever your vice is. And it's not really that complex, it's just, that's just me and like how my life been the last couple of years. So it, it's, it's honestly, it honestly is the struggle versus the relief of my life. Like, I struggle just like everybody else, but I have my relief, so I'm not gonna be committing suicide no time, so nothing like that. Just the surroundings of Chicago, like Chicago is like, you got your good parts, but then again, man, like it's, it's a messed up, messed up city man like the Inglewood like the South Side with like certain parts of the West Side I man it's a lot of things that can be changed and there's a lot of lost people out there they thinking that they only can like rob steal and kill just to get what they want you know but some people everybody ain't like that so I'm like I'm like the spokesperson for like the average person you know they, they want all the riches and fame not even the riches and fame they just want to be like they want to prosper to like help their family out you know and that's really what I want to do. I want to help my family. I want to be able to buy my mom a house, a car, whatever she want. Buy my little sister what she want. Get my get my older brother out the ghetto. Not quote unquote ghetto, you know. It's just I'm just saying, you know. Does that make sense? I don't want to let the cat out the bag soon, but I'm working on something big for y'all right now. And be expecting some new music and more videos coming soon. Um, that's pretty much a, pretty much about it. Um, but one more thing, like shout out F.A. the Squad. Get on before we blow up. And everybody who helped make Dark Days, Bright Nights a success, um, whether it be the producers, 808, Coop, Rail, Victor Rads. If I'm forgetting your name, my bad. Shout out to Go Where. They helped me a lot, man. It's a very um, powerful blog in Chicago, in my opinion. Like, they represent what true Chicago hip hop is. So, shout out to them, too. They helped sponsor the tape. FA Squad, Trace Down. Bitches. Hey, hey man. Never would have seen the hardest thing